appear there. This is Maximo. Welcome to Maximo's Travels. Well, I'm standing outside the front entrance of the Castle de Sant'Angelo. After the previous day's disappointment, I was determined to see the Castle of St. Angelo. It's located right near the Vatican. I jumped on a train and went to Lepardo Station, followed by a 1.2 kilometre walk in the heat. What I should have done is taken a bus. It would have dropped me off at the other side of the river for a nice easy stroll in the heat. Well, I'm standing outside the front entrance of the Castle de Sant'Angelo. I've been to Rome many times, but I've never actually been inside here. I tried to do this uh, yesterday, but unfortunately the place was closed. It's a scorching hot day. It's going to be about 36. I'm sweating like, uh, I don't know, a horse that's run a marathon. I think I'm mixing my metaphors. I need a drink. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to go going in and, and seeing what the uh, the castle has to uh, has to show. Let's go.
Oh, what a view. I spent about two hours wandering around the castle and the museum and then finished off with a walk on the outer walls. It was very, very hot but enjoyable. I'm really glad I came uh, and I would recommend visiting the castle to anyone that was coming to Rome. Uh, it's probably something that can be added to your Vatican and St. Peter's trip, although that would make it quite a big long day. I left the castle and then proceeded over the bridge, had a view of the Tiber River and the castle in the distance and proceeded to the centre of Rome. first stop after the castle was the church of Saint Andrea de Le Valle. This is a very famous church known for its stunning interiors. It's very high, intricately decorated with arches and frescoes on the ceiling. One of the new unique things about this church is that it has mirrors in the middle of the church so you don't have to crane your neck looking at the spectacular interiors. stop for lunch at the Ristorante Espiria. It's in Via Firenze. I had a very nice octopus salad and an ice cold Peroni. I'd say arguably it was the best meal I had in Rome. I would highly recommend this place. I'll leave a link in the description below. <music> The last place I visited was the Pantheon. This is a very famous landmark in Rome. It was built by the Romans in about 125 AD and in around the 6th century was converted to a Catholic church. Being a church, our entry is free. 
Um, I didn't have to queue that long, probably about 10 minutes, and uh, while it was quite busy, um, maybe due to the heat, um, I did get straight in. This is a very spectacular building. Uh, its scale and the fact that it's a free-standing, huge arch building built all that time ago is truly remarkable. It's one of the must-see things if you're in Rome. I left the Pantheon and decided to head back to the hotel. It was very, very hot. It felt like about 40 degrees. It was probably about 37, 38 degrees by this stage. And I had run out of puff and it was time for a siesta. walked past the Trevi Fountain. I didn't actually stop because one, it was quite crowded. Secondly, it was very hot and I was running out of uh, energy. And I had seen, uh, seen the fountain the day before. It took about 45, 50 minutes to walk the three kilometers from the castle back to the hotel. The hotel was located in Via Nacionale which is uh, quite close to Republic uh, Station and Square. I'll do a review of this hotel uh, in my next video. I do hope you liked this video. If so, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. And until next time, take care and bye.